Okay, let's start. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this afternoon, let us begin our show with our prayers. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. Let us pray the three o'clock prayer to the divine mercy. You died, Jesus, but the source of life flowed out for the souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life, immeasurable divine mercy, cover the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which flowed out from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen. Jesus, King of Mercy, I trust in you. Prayer for the protection of hands in inclusion Philippines. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from the false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their court being, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQ community, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands in inclusion Philippines to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong things. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, health of the saint, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Peter of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Pius X, and Pope Saint John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone, all organizations, and all the people who formerly worked with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in a conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in inclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us from our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The, the wounds inflicted upon him due to COVID-19. This is This is the new case. Forget me in our lives. Ang mga panalaw at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuhan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter who do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to One Inclusion Live Weekend. Today is Saturday, November 27, 2021. I am Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and we're broadcasting simultaneously on Inclo Radio and on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. As we commence our show this afternoon, I would like to present to you our daily verse for today from 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 15 therefore my dear brothers and sisters stand firm let nothing move you always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain We shall commence our presentation in just a moment, and we will be back after these commercials. Now this.
Welcome back to One Inclusion Live Weekend. We shall now commence our presentation this afternoon. Hi everyone, good day to all of you. This is my pre-recorded presentation for the One Inclusion Live Weekend. Today is Saturday, November 27, 2021. I am Carlos Miguel Javeliana Kanahashi from Hands in Inclusion. In this pre-recorded presentation, we will discuss to you about ecotourism. When we say ecotourism, ladies and gentlemen, the significance of ecotourism and why do we need to promote ecotourism as well. So without further ado, here now is our topic in this pre-recorded presentation, which is ecotourism. So first, let us define what ecotourism is. Well, first of all, ecotourism is the responsible travel to natural areas and improves the well-being of local people. So what does this mean, ladies and gentlemen? And who is an ecotourist? Ecotourism appeals to a wide range of travelers of all ages and interests. Travelers who choose ecotourism are responsible consumers interested in social, economic, and environmental sustainability. Seeking authentic, local experiences and opportunities to give back to the communities they visit. Increasingly, ecotourists are also seeking to minimize the carbon footprint of their travel. Traveling with climate in mind by planning wisely and choosing consciously. So what are the characteristics of ecotourism? It involves the travel to natural destinations, minimizes impact, builds environmental awareness, provides direct financial benefits for conservation, provides financial benefits and empowerment for local people and to respect local culture. So in layman's term, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why we need to show these characteristics of ecotourism is to promote sustainable development and also to show respect to the locals as well, and to show awareness on how to preserve the environment as well. And what is the essence of ecotourism? The essence of ecotourism is that it provides effective economic incentives for conserving and enhancing biocultural diversity and helps protect the natural and cultural heritage of our beautiful planet Earth. By increasing capacity building opportunities, ecotourism is also an effective vehicle for empowering local communities around the world to fight against poverty and to achieve sustainable development. So what are the ecotourism spots here in the Philippines? So in the Philippines, we have the Banawe Rice Terraces, Sumagig Cave, the Hanging Coffins, Balbalasang National Park, La Mesa Eco Park, Las Piñas Paranaque Critical Habitat, Ninoy Aquino Parks and Nature Center, Pasig Green Forest Park, Hundred Islands National Park, La Union Bot Botanical Garden, La Union Surfing, Vegan Heritage Village. In Cagayan Valley, we have Imugan Waterfalls, Governor Rapids, Kapisang Cave, Mount Iraya. And in Central Luzon, there is Mount Pinatubo, located in Sambales, Mount Arayat, located in Pampanga, and the Hacienda Luisita, which is located in Tarlac. 
in the southern Tagalog region, we have Taal Volcano, Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park, El Nido Marine Reserve, and the Mount Guiting, Guiting Park. In Bico region, we have Mayon Volcano. In Western Visayas, we have Mount Canlaon National Park. In Central Visayas, Malapasua Island, Olango Island Wildlife Sanctuary, Kambuhat River and Village Tour, and Simply Butterflies Conservation Center. Eastern Visayas, Lake Danao Natural Park, Ulot River, Calviga Caves Protected Landscape, and Viri La Rosa Protected. And in Mindanao, Garden of Malasag Ecotourism Village, Makahambus Adventure Park, White Water Rafting, Misamis Occidental Aquamarine Park, Mount Apo in Davao Region, Kiwa Adventure Park, Seven Waterfalls, New Israel Echo Park, Mar Mount Parker or Lake Holon, Shargao Island, Dinagat Islands, Lake Mainit, Agusan Marsh Wildlife Sanctuary. Why should we involve in ecotourism, ladies and gentlemen? It's because, well, first of all, ecotourism is a tool that provides opportunities, a financially viable tool that provides sustainable solutions to economic challenges and conservation needs of the locals, an alternative means of supporting rural economies to help revitalize and sustain local heritage and a market link force connecting and empowering stakeholders. Ecotourism is a form of tourism involving responsible travel to natural areas, conserving the environment and improving the well-being of the local people. Tourism directed toward natural environments intended to support conservation efforts and to observe wildlife. The reason why, ladies and gentlemen, we have ecotourism is this is for us to promote sustainable development and also to conserve the environment as well. And let's take our part to promote ecotourism and also to conserve more as well. And that's the end of my pre-recorded topic for our presentation. I am Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. Thank you very much. Okay, we have finished our topic this afternoon. And now let us move on to some of our announcements. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here are some of our announcements. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, here are some of our announcements. First of all, we have some products for sale at the Hands and Inclusion Philippines online shop. So, our products that we are selling are the following. We'll have our One Inclusion Nation t-shirts and our One Inclusion Nation 
tote bags because of November 30, 2021, prices are for our t shirts 270 pesos to 320 pesos. Sizes range from small to quad XL. In the case of our tote bags, sizes range from 6 by 5 inches to 14 inches, and prices range from 160 pesos to 220 pesos. And if you want an additional text or design, it will be a 50 peso charge as well. So how can you pay, ladies and gentlemen? So be very strict on payments. Payment first before payment. I repeat, payment first before payment. We're accepting payments from GCash on this QR code, and I will flash this to you in just a moment. And we will deliver your ordered products via GoGo Express and LBC as well. Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Fusion Philippines online shop is temporarily closed for areas under alert level 5. But it will continue to serve in areas under alert level 3, 2, and 1. And, and its operating hours are from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. For a full list of orders, please visit the Hands in Inclusion Philippines Facebook page or email us at handsin.inclusion at gmail.com. Ladies and gentlemen, we at Hands in Inclusion Philippines needs your help. We have already been struggling our financial problems in our organization, including us here in HNI. So regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger, it would be appreciated for you guys to donate to Hands in Inclusion Philippines. How? Scan and donate using GCash and also purchasing our products from the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop. You will also use this in one of our payment methods in the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop. So, ladies and gentlemen, what are you waiting for? Please, please, and please, please purchase our products from the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop and to donate to Hands in Inclusion Philippines as well. Please help Hands in Inclusion Philippines for its fundraising project. All proceeds will go to both the fundraising of Hands in Inclusion Philippines for its formality, its expenses, and the financial aid for its members due to the effects of this trying time. And let's have the time to rebuild in order for us to have a bigger, better, and a bolder Hands in Inclusion Philippines. So guys, for those who did this, you be glad you did. And for those who did this, Thank you for your generosity and for your support to our organization. We have one more event later at 4 p.m. after this program. We'll be having our Best Buddies Philippines Saturday series of learning. We'll be having Friends Giving Kara OK. So, and also watch out for some of the events of Best Buddies Philippines for the month of December as well. Hiraya Gallery and Special Achievers present to you Project Sold Out. 17 out of 76 works are sold. This is in a partnership with Ateneo Special Education Society, the Autism Strong Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, College of Rehabilitation Sciences Student Council, Hands in Inclusion Philippines, Little Hands Isco with UNICEF, Philippine Academy of Occupational Therapists Incorporated, Society of Occupational Therapy Majors, the ABLE Center, Tugon Ateneo, UP Collegiate Association of Speech Pathologists, and You Belong PH. So for those who want to check, please check Special Chief's Facebook page for more details regarding this event. On Sunday, December 5, 2021, at 7.30 in the evening, Boundless Possibilities Foundation will present to you Panapanahon, a love that grows with the passing of time. This is a virtual musical performed by diverse ability performers and their families with Noel Cabangon and Candy Pangilinan. 
So for those who want to watch this, please check the Boundless Possibilities Facebook page on December 5, 2021, Sunday at 7.30 in the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, for those who are hungry, you may want to order some of the foods on Sobra Comfort Food Restaurant. So the menus are the following. For our all-day breakfast, tapa sobra, chicken tocino, homemade spam, corned beef brisket, and ribeye salpicao from 265 pesos to 275 pesos. For our rice trays, we have beef bulgogi, beef yudon, shawarma, boneless fried chicken, pork rockling bits, charred chicken, and pork belly burnt ends. Prices range from 265 pesos to 1,700 pesos. For our buns, our fried chicken prices range from 320 pesos to 380 pesos. For our corned beef sandwich, food pro sandwich, and chicken tocino sandwich, it's only 370 pesos to 390 pesos. And for our pasta, we have mac and cheese and penne and gorgonzola for only 290 pesos. So how can you order there? Head over to the Sobra Comfort Food website, select the dishes you want to order, Choose between pickup or delivery. Be conveniently through any of the same integrated payment methods and your order is confirmed. Expect updates via text or email. Follow Hands in Inclusion Philippines on our social media pages and its digital platforms as well. It will be appreciated for you guys to do this as early as now. Follow us on Facebook, Hands in Inclusion PH. Inclu Radio, Inclu Sports, Inclu Nihan, and the online shop. Instagram, Hands in Inclusion PH. Umu, HNI Philippines. And subscribe to the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. So guys, for those who did this, thank you very much as well. Coming up later on Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion, we will discuss to you about what does greatest gift mean to you? Why do we have the greatest gift for us? And what is greatest gift for you? And how can we receive the greatest gift you have in your life? And I will I will give I will share you um, a preview later. So according to to a Bible verse is that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. From John chapter 3, verse 16. You'll find out on this later on Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion later tonight at 8 o'clock in the evening with me, yours truly, Carlos Kanahashi, Christian Chan, and Asher Santos on Inclu Radio and on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. So guys, let us have our shout out and greetings to those who are celebrating their birthdays today. Happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. Also to those who are celebrating their anniversaries, happy anniversary as well. And uh, I would like to say good afternoon and thank you to the following. To my family, good afternoon. Hi! To Hands in Inclusion Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, Best Buddies Benil, and other PWD organizations, thank you very much as well. To our high school and college friends, good afternoon as well. And to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. I hope you guys are in a good mood. But if not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. To those who are watching us on Inco Radio, thank you very much as well. So if you missed this episode, it will be premiered on the next day on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel for your viewing pleasure. As we wrap up our show this afternoon, I would like to share with you our code for the day. From Simon Reed. Responsible travel is not only better for our world, 
It's also more interesting and memorable. Responsible tourism is the future of travel. And also, guys, don't forget that tomorrow is Sunday. As Hansen Inclusion Philippines continues to put God first, regardless of our faith, let us have the, the time to remind us that Sunday is a day of rest and faith. And let us have the right to be courteous, to be courteous to other people for having religious services, either virtually or face to face as well. So we need your courtesy your consideration, your cooperation, and your silence as well. Okay, that's a wrap for our episode of One Inclusion Live Weekend for Saturday, November 27, 2021. I'll be back again later tonight at 8 o'clock in the evening for our Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion Show. On behalf of Inco Radio and Hands in Inclusion Philippines, I am your host, Carlos Miguel Kanashi, saying, May the Almighty God, us all, pagpala inawa tayo ng poong may kapal. May bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. H&I, God first. Thank you very much for watching. Have a blessed afternoon to all and bye for now. Bye-bye!